Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be grinding out a rune scimitar, I think. So it's a 1 in 50 from Zamrak Warriors. I'm also training melee. I know typically you're supposed to just safe spot these. And I might do that if I want to chill. But I figured like right now I need combat stats more than anything anyways. So I might as well just like melee them, right? Like I feel like rune simi is honestly like I looked it up because I didn't think it would be that much better. But then I actually like plugged in the numbers and it is insane. It is a crazy weapon. It literally increases my damage by like 30%. Yeah, but I, I haven't, like, I haven't really talked about it, but guys, look, I have, I bought myself a Mithril Plate Body, Addy Plate Legs, and I got myself the Amulet of Strength. So I sat, at, I did ham storerooms for, like, 30 minutes, and I got really lucky. Did I miss the Scurrious? We're going to be doing Scurrious uh, after I get a Rune Scimitar. So yeah, I plugged in all my stats, and I figured that at my current stats, I have about 1.1 1 .1 DPS. If I get a rune simi, I have about 1.4 DPS. It, it was good to test. Like, I, I definitely wanted to see if the rune mace was good, but it's just not enough. The real, okay, the real luck, though, I don't care how unlucky I get with anything. The best thing would be to get the, um, to get the spine. Like, if I could get spine on, like, the first 5kc, oh my god, dude. It would be, it would actually be so nuts. And, again, the, the, when I can upgrade this to a bone mace, it literally doubles my damage. Like, it, it's insane. Because my max hit right now is an 11, right? My max hit's an 11, and um, I'll get plus 10 max hit. Yeah, I grinded out. I actually got so lucky. Hobgoblins, I think it's a 1 in 6 chance of getting Limpert Roots. I got 20 of them in 80. So, I got really, really lucky. But, yeah, I grinded out all the uh, Limpert Roots that I'll need for... Uh, the Temple of Icove. Temple of Icove gives me 10,000 range experience and 8,000 fletching experience. Sounds like you're going Scurrious into Fire Cape. I'm not going to go Scurrious into Fire Cape, but I think I'm going to go Scurrious into Dragon Scimitar into Dragon Defender. That's the current plan. Oh, I was thinking, I was going to say Zombie Axe, but I don't know if I have the Hunter level for uh for that yet. Maybe I get Birdhouses going today. I just suck it up and, and go do Birdhouses real quick. Because if I can do a Birdhouse between every hour of Scurrious, my Hunter will actually start flying. But yeah, fire, uh, the, the fire caves aren't that bad because, um, it's a safe death. Like, let's say I die. Let's say I like Jad hits me or something, or like I mess up. I just, I lose time and I lose supplies. That's kind of it. I mean, all things considered, this is still a one in 50. So we're still like, we're still ahead, you know, we're not, we're not a do for a semi technically. Oh, we got it. Oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I got it. Okay, on 39? Yeah, 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 I'll take it, I'll take it, that's good. So I got this over at the um, ham store rooms as well. And boom, there we go, the diamond amulet. I'm ready to go. Okay, come on, come on, give us give us good spine RNG, please. <gasps> 13 max hit, let's go! Yes, dude, I'm doing enough damage though, I'm doing enough damage. Oh wait, I still don't even have the max hit. Must have been the strength potion that gave me the 13 max hit. Then that's final train attack. But once he gets to 30%, it's fine. I just have to, like, super focus, not get hit by any rocks. And then the rats will be kind of annoying, but it's fine. We'll uh, we'll clear them off. He just stops healing at 30%, which is nice. And you guys see how my range is just, I'm, like, giga training the range in the meantime. That's kind of the whole point of Scurrious is I can train my range really fast, too. Come on! I'm so close! <laughs> oh, my God. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it, guys. We did it. Oh, we got a prayer potion! Nice! That wasn't too bad. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it for sure. <sighs> I think I'm ready for round two, guys. Range level 25. Okay, okay. The rats are good for range experience, but they are like a huge DPS loss, unfortunately. Because the more time... I, I basically spend as much time as I can hitting the boss. <laughs> Deal, loser. Should we go do our medium clues? Clues are good, right? Fastest kill was 1136. That's pretty good. Hey, 1136 is not bad. All right, guys, let's open up. Let's see what we get. <laughs> it was worth around 72k. I'm, I mean, uh, I'll take it. We'll make like a bunch of iron bars. I'll go smelt them all into dark tips and I'll fletch it all real quick while I walk back over. Is there any place you can buy like knives and darts? I feel like in Birtharp you could buy some, right? But I feel like this is probably fine to do. Wait, can I not? I don't, th I don't know if I can make iron darts. Okay, I can go do uh, Temple of Ico very, very fast. Oh, I don't have the thieving level for Temple of Icove. Oh no! Oh no! Should I just go on? Uh, should I just go on an expedition right now and do feud real quick? All right, we're taking a scurry break. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now we gotta go buy two camels. We're gonna go uh, give them some laxatives, 
solve the feud, kill everybody, get everybody mad at us. Just the usual. <laughs> I love how it's like completely empty, dude. That's my favorite part about this cutscene is like you open it, it's completely empty. If we kill one more guy after this and then we're uh, basically good to go. We head on over to finish the quest. And then when I went to the Shanty Pass, they were just like always sold out. What? Yeah, he reset. I guess I guess there's a time limit. I'll show you guys a little trick for Temple of Ico. If you guys haven't seen it, you don't actually need 40 thieving. You only need 42, or sorry, you don't need 40 range. You only need 42 thieving. Typically, Temple of Ico requires a used shortbow, but we're going to trick the game into thinking we're uh, actually using the ice arrows. It is nice, though, to have, like, not level 1 range doing Temple of Ico, because it is, like, you miss so much when you do Temple of Ico with level 1 range. But it is possible. Okay, so you see how it says get 20 ice arrows? I'm not going to get 20 ice arrows. I'm going to get two ice arrows. I remember when I did this quest on leagues. <laughs> the freaking, like, you know how you're supposed to, like, you're supposed to pull the lever? Or, like, you're supposed to check traps that when you pull the lever, uh, you don't get, you don't, like, fall down. And I was so confused because I, I, at this point, I think I'd been playing for like 15 or 16 hours. That in mind, you know, I, it was day one of leagues. I was playing a lot. And I was sitting there trying to pull the lever. I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. And I found out I didn't have the thieving level. <laughs> so I kept trying to, I kept trying to check traps, but I didn't read the notification that was like, you don't have the thieving level to do. <laughs> All right. Now I just got a flick. And you guys can see you don't need the U bow as long as you're using darts or knives or something like that. Any thrown weapon. You can actually kill this guy without needing 40 range, without needing the U-Bow. The U-Bow is really annoying to get. There we go. Quest completed. Thank God. Okay, 35 range and 27 fletching. I did all of that literally just so I could do this one, this one thing, which is uh, I can make my iron darts now. Oh, man. If I really hurry, if I scurry, I might be able to get a third kill in. Them zeros? Yeah, man. I gotta go make some attack potions. Honestly, I might just go do that. I have a bunch of guamers in my bank. I might just go make a bunch of attack potions and help me out. Dude, if I could have super attacks right now, then I would actually be so strong. Don't think you're meant to solo at your stats. Um, You're not, but that's because of the DPS check. That's why I think the DPS check is really stupid. Because I think it ruins a really, really good boss. But the only reason why I can't do this right now is because he basically is healing as much damage as I'm doing. So like, let's say let's say he heals like one damage per second, right? And I am dealing 1.2 damage per second. So in total, I end up only doing 0.2 per second. But any damage I get right now would like, it would effectively quadruple my damage. That's like literally the only thing I don't like about this boss is I don't know why they added a DPS check to it. Nice. Yeah, 17 minutes is like ridiculous. I don't know why that one was so freaking bad. All right, I think we got this kill in the bag. Plenty of prayer. This is definitely the strat. We just have to flick. It's annoying, but I'm gonna. I feel like if I do this, these kills are really, really fit, like a lot faster. <sighs> Rune battle axe. Okay, that was also an eight minute kill. Last kill was 17. This is an eight-minute kill. Much, much, much better. We got a rune full helm. That's an upgrade. Dude, now I look now I'm gaming. Alright. What's the best thing this uh this drops? The spine. It allows me to make the bone mace, which has an extra max at a 10. It's really massive. Otherwise, uh rune battle axe and rune chain body are both like 20k alks, and prayer pots are good too. That's kind of what we're looking for. But the spine is, like, definitely best thing with, like, no question. Getting the spine will, like, it's, it's not even that it'll, like, double my damage. I'll get, like, literally, like, five times faster kills because of how much time I waste during this healing phase. Ooh, Addy Plate Body. That's an upgrade. Yo, you know what? Honestly, I'll take eight lobsters. Pest Control Teleport is also kind of cool. Damn, look at that. I got the trimmed Addy plate legs. Definitely going to be a lot more leaks content and then dead man mode over summer. Are you going to do a day by day strat video? I will be doing. Uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> I don't really. I don't play. I don't play. Whoa, we got it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, we actually got it. We actually got it.
Oh my god. Oh, dude, we're saved. I'm not. Oh, thank god. That's so good on 7KC. Let's go. <laughs> I'm. Oh, dude, I'm going to be gaming so hard now. Thank freaking god. That is so good. I will happily, happily take seven. It's just, you guys don't know how freaking stressed I've been like all day today because these kills are like, they're genuinely like, they're pretty rough. Like, I have to really, really focus. But now I should be able to just absolutely demolish this guy. We will be getting some... Oh, there it is. The Bone Mace. Now I can grind this boss literally all the way to like 60 attack, 60 strength till we get our Dragon Sim. Oh my god. Look at that damage. 25 max hit. Yo, what the heck? Like... Dude, this is just so much better. Definitely beats doing freaking sand crabs all day. Oh my god, no way. No, no, no. We got another slide though. Wait, no way. <laughs> Some rune arrows. Nice. That's a good that's a good owl. No more 17 minute kills. What was that? A four minute kill? <laughs> Dude, a four minute kill feels so good. Not gonna lie, those 15 minute kills were like they were pretty brutal. I was honestly thinking about like taking a break um, because I just like, I don't want to like lose focus during a 15 minute kill. You know what I mean? Uh, and sending too many of them is probably not good. I do think I want to go uh, do Shallow Village right now though, just to grab some quick uh, fish. A rune med helm. <laughs> not quite the best, but that's fine. All right, let's eat the cheese. I'm going to teleport out. I'm thinking I'm going to just go start working on some other stuff, guys. I'm just not having to worry. Oh my God, no way. We got the necklace, the pottery, and the coin. What? That's the uh, dig site pendant for anybody wondering, um, which allows me to teleport to the dig site. So yeah, it's very good. Very good to get that. But you see, if it's too much in the uh, wrong direction, you just put the sails down a little bit. And once it's fixed, boom, put the sails back up and you keep going. There we go. All right. There we go. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Jungle potion, I think is completed. Now I can do Shallow Village. I kid you not. After I complete Shallow Village, I'm going to be sitting and I'm just going to go fish like 200 salmon. So I have access to uh, Temporos. There's like a couple quests in this game that are just like oddly spooky. Like this is one of them. It has you like searching like a, like a noose. Kind of, kind of weird. <laughs> like it's kind of a lot. So, you know how it says search the dolmen? Don't do that. Let the guy let the guy respawn. That's what I did last time. I accidentally searched it again, and I spawned two copies of the boss. Yo, let's freaking go. 38 crafting. Nice. Always nice to get my crafting up. I think we made a lot of good progress today. And I, I think this actually might be a good time to wrap it up, just because I just want to go collect a bunch of resources. That way, tomorrow, I can basically get, like, right into it. Um, Here's what I'm planning on doing off stream. A lot of fishing. A lot of wood cutting. I wish I could tell you what we're doing tomorrow, but I actually have to, I have to sit and like plan what my next like 15 hours looks like. I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a lot of questing tomorrow, if I'm being honest. Uh just because I want to knock out a couple other stuff. Um, or you know, if I if I collect like 500 fish today, maybe I just log in tomorrow and just do some scurrious. Uh and yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and uh see you guys soon. Peace out. Have a good one.